I already be kind of grossed out because it's that time of year again. Mormon crickets are on the move in the southwestern part of the state. You can already feel your skin tingling, right? Just look at look at this video. You can see, yeah, the, the earth is not moving. Those are crickets moving across the ground. Taken this is a video taken earlier this week by Becky Strine Parkinson. It's out near the Wahi Mountain Range. Flightless insects, these Mormon crickets are, and they grow up to three inches in length. Some can migrate up to a mile per day, and they can cause some pretty serious ag issues, even some traffic hazards. You can see them in that groove there. The video, again, this video, I should say, is from 2018, when thousands of them descended on the Owyhee County Courthouse. That's not natural. The workers there said they had to wear rain boots and use umbrellas just to get out of the building or inside the building. We reached out to the Idaho Department of Agriculture to find out why they seem to like Owyhee County so much. Very, they are native. They are natural. Um, there's nothing unusual about them being here. They are fairly seasonal, or there are they they can come every few years. So we do see peaks and valleys to to when we see them. So if somebody's only been here a couple three years and hadn't been out there to see them, they may think it's a new phenomenon. But really, it's it's quite normal. Uh, they like those areas. They like especially after winters that have been dry and mild as as our last winter was. Um, what you saw in the video is you saw that they were congregating in tire tracks. They can be rather um, cannibalistic. And so as, as you run over some, the rest of them will rush in uh, and, and feed on what's left of their friends and neighbors. Uh, cannibalistic crickets. That's what he said. And all those people back east, all they have to worry about are cicadas every 17 years who are only interested in mating. Not being cannibals, so well they can be here every year, I guess, out here as much. But the question is, why are they called Mormon crickets? First and foremost, Mormon crickets aren't even really crickets. They're technically katydids or grasshoppers, but they do take their name from Mormon settlers back in the mid 1800s. And according to the records, when they arrived in Utah and began planting, a quote plague of crickets nearly destroyed their crops. The story goes they prayed for a miracle, which came in the form of a swarm of seagulls that ate the insects. The miracle of the goals led to Utah naming the California seagull as its state bird. And you see, it always comes back to California, doesn't it?